Hello, I'm Albert Einstein. I was born in Ulm, Germany in 1879. I created the theory E equals MC square and I loved playing the violin. My first job was at a patent office. While I worked there, I wrote five scientific papers. I then became a professor and taught at a lot of different colleges. I liked things simple, like I never matched my socks and never used shaving cream, even after my friend showed it to me. My first wife was Milvik Merrick, and we had three children, Edward, Lisserl, and Hans Albert Einstein. I then divorced and married Elsa Lowenthal. We then moved to America, and I died in Princeton in 1955. My wife Elsa also died in Princeton in 1936. I hope that my memory in my memory, people will explore the wonders of the world and never stop learning. My name is Daniel Boone. I was born on October 22, 1734. I was a good soldier and a great woodsman. I served in the French and Indian War and rode on wagons to carry supplies to and from battles. At age five, I was chopping wood and helping around the farm. Then when smallpox came around, a neighbor kid had this deadly disease. Me and my sister decided to give ourselves smallpox so we would never get it again. Luckily, we got through the vicious disease and were able to go outside again and play in the wilderness. I was the best shot in town and went on long hunts that lasted all fall and most of winter. When the French and Indian War came around, I joined a North Carolina militia despite being a Quaker. Um, after the war, in the middle of my life, I was told of Kentucky from John Finley. I was told of the great farmland and unclaimed land. So in 1775, I set off for this promised land. Then me and my brother-in-law ran into some Indians. They captured us and said we had to leave, so we did, but not exactly. We hid out in a cave and survived off beaver traps through the harsh winter. But one day, John went to check the traps and never came back. After some thought, I decided to leave Kentucky, but this did not stop me. I wanted the land. So I went back more prepared with more people. We made a town called Boonesboro, but was later destroyed by Shawnee Indians. It was a fierce fight, but I survived. I wrote my famous book, The Adventures of Colonel Daniel Boone, which publishers misspelled my name. Later, I died on September 26, 1820, from natural causes. Later, my body was exhumed and moved to Kentucky, where you can now visit my tomb. In 1982, Sydney received the Cecile B. DeMille Award right here at the Golden Globes. And it is not lost on me that at this moment, there are some little girls watching as I become the first black woman to be given this same award. It is an honor and it is a privilege to share the evening with all of them and also the incredible men that and women who've inspired me, who've challenged me, who've sustained me and made my journey to this stage possible. Dennis Swanson, who took a chance on me for AM Chicago. Quincy Jones, who saw me on that show and said to Steven Spielberg, yes, she is Sophia in The Color Purple. Gail, who's been the definition of what a friend is, and Stedman, who was my rock, just a few who, just a few to name. I like to thank the Hollywood Foreign Press Association because we all know that the press is under siege these days. Hi, I'm Elvis Presley. I was born January 8th, 1935. My wife is Priscilla Presley. I was a songwriter and I played in movies. Viva Las Vegas, Ohio from Hawaii, Jailhouse Rock, King Crow, Crow, Blue Hawaii, and Change of Habit, and more. Some songs I made, some songs I made also, Cable of the Crew, Hound Dog, Blue Sailed Shoes, Always on My Mind, and a, more. My hometown is Memphis, Tennessee. I did not have a lot of money growing up. I barely saw my dad when I was younger because because I was always at work. He was always at work. Me and my mom were very close, so people thought it was weird. Thought it was weird. 
but I thought it was just because we were family. I became famous through me and my friends. We were just hanging out and I made my first song. My first song was <clears throat> my first song was my happiness. I was 18 when I wrote that song. 1953, I walked into Sun Records in Memphis and recorded that song. That was the happiest day of my life. I sadly died from making bad choices and had a heart attack. It, in 1977, August 16th, my life sadly ended. My name is Lynn manuel Miranda, and I will be singing the lyrics of one of the songs from the musical I wrote, Hamilton, which is based upon the life of Alexander Hamilton, the first Treasury Secretary of the United States. Hamilton is not the only musical I wrote. I also wrote In the Heights. The song that I will be saying the lyrics to is called My Shot. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm going to get a country. I'm going to get a scholarship to King's College. Probably shouldn't brag, but I'm an amazing and astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains but no polish. I got a holler just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough, a shiny piece of coal, trying to reach my goal. My power speech, I'm unbeachable. Only 19, but my mind is older. These New York City streets get colder. I shoulder every, every word and every disadvantage. I learn to manage. I walk these streets famished. Hi, I'm Betsy Ross, and a lot of people think of me as making the first American flag, but there's a lot more than just that. When I was out of school, I, I was banished from being a Quaker because I married a man from a different religion. Growing up was different for me because, because we did not have a lot of games, electronics, and etc. Instead, we were raised strictly by Quaker and attended school eight hours a day, Monday to Saturday. I started a job when I met my first husband, John Ross, while working for the same person. The Revolution War was coming, and just then, John and I opened our first business together. In the war, John died, and a few years later, I met Joseph Ashburn. After the Revolution War, Joseph died. I met my last husband, John Claypool, after the war. After the war, a lot of businesses were increased, and I died through that, and I did not, people thought that I, didn't, I did not make the first American flag. My name is Michael J. Fox. I was born June 9, 1961 in Alberta, Canada. When I was 15, I got my first television show called Leo and Me. Later on in life, I dropped out of high school to act. Later in life, I got my first hit show, called Family Ties, and the show started in 1982 and ended in 1989. In the middle of filming Family Ties, I was introduced to the role of playing Marty McFly in Back to the Future, and that was in 1985. And years after the first Back to the Future, it was such a huge success that later on, I was in two more Back to the Future movies, the second one in 1989 and the third in 1990. In 1991, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, for later Parkinson's disease research, I made a nonprofit fundraiser and raised more than one billion dollars. Later on, I decided to stop acting in major roles because of my Parkinson's, but in 1999, I was in E.B. White's movie, Stuart Little, and I was the voice for Stuart Little. In my entire life, I have made $65 million from all my movie slash TV show roles. Greetings, my name is Alexander Hamilton. I was born on January 11, 1755 or 1757. I earned the title Founding Father from my many accomplishments and occupations. I was, a I was a Lieutenant Colonel in the Revolutionary War and I served as General George Washington's assistant. I was, I was a lawyer for a short while before becoming the first Secretary of Treasury in the United States of America. I was also an economist and a banker. I had very strong opinions and I was never afraid to debate with anyone if they felt differently from me. After all, those who stand for nothing fall for anything. Some people may know me for my impressive writing skills. I wrote and presented a six-hour speech at the Constitutional Convention, and I also wrote 51 of the 85 essays in the Federalist Papers. Even if you don't know me from any of those huge accomplishments, you might know me from other things, such as the $10 bill or the popular Broadway musical Hamilton. My family was quite large. My wife, 
Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton and I had eight children, Philip, Angelica, Alexander Jr., John Church, William, Phil, and Philip, otherwise known as Little Phil. I sadly passed away on, January, on, on July 12, 1804, after a gun duel with my greatest nemesis, Aaron Burr. Burr was my biggest enemy, so much, in fact, that I believe it was a religious duty to oppose his career. Even after I died, my wife spent the last 50 years of her life protecting and preserving my legacy. Hi, my name is Walt Disney. I was born on December 5th, 1901. I have an amusement park named after me, Walt Disney. I named it after my name, as you can tell. I'm the voice of Mickey Mouse. I have two daughters, and I'm married to Lillian Bounce. You may know her for naming Mickey Mouse. At first, I worked with my dad, but then I grew the business and made lots of money. I was f The first film I released was Steamboat Willie. I opened Disneyland on July 17, 1955. I have many movies. I have made many movies like Alice in the Alice in Wonderland, Sleeping, Be Sleeping Beauty, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Mary Poppins, and Cinderella. In my free time, I like to draw cartoons because I liked to draw when I was younger. Uh, sadly, I lost my battle with lung cancer at the age of 65, not too old. Hello, my name is Jane Goodall. I was born in Hampstead, London, UK, on April 3, 1934. I have been working with chimpanzees for 55 years. Growing up, I did not like going to school. Just getting me up and out of bed was hard. When I was supposed to go to college, I could not afford it, so I worked as a waitress and a films waker assistant for many years. I was, I was finally able to get, make it to college when I was 28. I have one younger sister. She has been my partner in crime ever since I was little, even if it was just taking cookies from the cabinet or taking the blame for something I did. I have many awards. I have over 50. My last award was in December 2020. I am married to Hugo Eric Lewis Van Lewick. I have one child. His name is Hugo Hu Eric Lewis Van Lewick, named after my husband. I am now living in my sister's attic due to COVID and soon will be living with the monkeys again. My name is Tom Cruise. I've made over 50 movies, with one of my most popular being Top Gun. You also might know me from my seven Mission Impossible movies. I have a slight case of dyslexia that made it hard for me to learn in school. Uh, but when I did a play called Dies Guys and Dolls in high school, it soon made me find something that I enjoyed. I would later star in Endless Love, which would be my first movie that would help me get into the, my most popular movie called Top Gun which is about a pilot named Maverick who was put into the Top Gun program, but due to his deadly fi uh, reckless flying, he gets behind a plane and his engine fails and they crash. While the eject works to where he can get out, but, but his friend Goose hits his head on the window and causes it to break his neck and dies. Many years later, I would have a child named Suri, then I would adopt two more children who are Connor and Isabella. Right now, I am working on Top Gun 2, which is set to release November this year. My name is Jenny Finch. I was born on September 3rd, 1980 in California. I have three kids named Ace, Diesel, and Paisley. One of my favorite things to do is spend time with my family, which is why I retired. I had always dreamed of playing for the Dodgers, but then found out that it was not a possibility at the time, so I tried softball. I started playing softball at the age of five and retired at the age of 29. I played for the Arizona Wildcats, Chicago Bandits, and Team USA. I played with Team USA in the Olympics in the summer of 2004, where we won gold medal with me pitching. I was constantly traveling and was always very busy. I, it started to get to the point where I couldn't even spend time with my family. After a while, I decided to retire from softball to spend more time with them. Even though I retired, I still love softball. I have several softball camps all over the country that I enjoy going to to speak to kids about my experience with softball. I also wrote a book called Throw Like a Girl, where I explain major events that I had through my life. In my book, I explain how I wasn't always the best at softball. My travel coach told me I wasn't a champion pitcher, and I doubted myself every practice. My dad thought it would be best if I joined a different team. My new team, the Bat Busters, made it to the finals, playing my old team. We ended up winning the game with me pitching. It went, I went on to do great things, proving my coach wrong. Now I am known as one of the best softball pitchers of all time, while still being engaged in the game today. 
Hi, I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and I was born on May 2nd, 1972, and I moved a lot as a child. I went to two elementary schools and three high schools. I graduated from the University of Miami in general studies in 1995. I was planning on being an NFL player, but I sadly went undrafted. So instead of the NFL, I made my debut in the WWF Survivor Series and got first place, making me immediately famous, going by the nickname of Rocky Mafia. I went to play in my first movie, The Mummy Returns, in 2001, and then starred in the prequel of that movie, The Scorpion King, in 2002. In 2004, I, requ I retired from the WWE to focus on making movies. In 2011, I made my triumphant return to the WWE. Since then, I have been making movies, and I have been thinking about coming back to the ring. I am making a couple of movies coming in 2021 and 2022. My name is William Wallace. I was born in Elder Sly. The year was 1270. My dad is Alan Wallace, but before historians thought my dad was Malcolm Wallace. Very little is known about my childhood, but my dad was killed by English when I was a kid. When John D. Bellary was in prison, the English by English authority. After Bellary was in prison, Edward declared himself king of Scotland. I revolted in the English town called Winark, and I killed their sheriff. After that, I marched into the town scone. Marched into the town scone. After that, the Battle of Stirling took place. It was the first major win for the rebellion, but it did come out of consequence because Andrew Murray died at the battle. He was a tactician for the rebellion and were fr and was friends too. The Battle of Falkirk. I was not prepared because I thought Edward could not find me and Edward's soldiers were on the break of mutiny. He circled me and my troops, so only way out was fighting. For my troops, I had 5,000 infantry, 1,000 1, mounted cavalry, but English had 2,500 mounted cavalry and 12,500 infantry. We had a strong position, though. We were on top of a hill, which made it hard for cavalry to get through our pikes. After bloody fighting, the English won, and I had to retreat. Now, with basically no army, and I was on the run for my life. I was hiding, and I was told to meet people to plan an attack, but I was actually betrayed by Raphael Ray. The British took the British took me to England to go on trial. I was I was trial, and I pleaded to all the crimes except treason because I never worked with the English. This I sentenced. I was sentenced to death the next day when I when I was hung, quartered, and beheaded. The, my head was sent to London Bridge. My arms were sent to the Four Corners as a warning to not mess with England. The Four Corners were Newcastle, Berwick, Perth, and Stirling. Hello, my name is Vladimir Putin. I was born in Leningrad on October seventh, nineteen fifty-two. I usually don't like talking about childhood, but I will. When I was born, I was secretly baptized by my mother because the Orthodox Church was banned. When I went to school, I was at the top of my class and had a black belt in judo and many martial arts. In college, in, in high school, I learned German. In college, though, I went to the St. Petersburg State University where I studied law and then swiftly went into the KGB Foreign Intelligence Office for 16 years, moving to Lieutenant Colonel before being summoned to Moscow to become the director of the Federal Cer Security Service for the new KGB. After two years, Boris Yeltsin appoint appointed me president in 2000. I have served three terms and am still serving my fourth. Good evening. I am Helen Keller. I was born on June 27, 1880 in Thomasba, Alabama. Sadly, at the age of two, I got sick and lost my sight and my hearing. I had to follow my mother, Kate Keller, around by using her skirt. I also used my hands to feel vibrations and to learn what things are. As I grew older, I grew more mischievous. I found some keys and I, I knew they locked doors. So I locked my mother in the pantry. In 18, 87, Annie Sullivan arrived to help me learn. She was my teacher. At first, I didn't like her, and then she started to help me learn, and she was like my family. She helped me 
around the house and taught me sign language and braille. I went to school at Perkins and I got to meet Laura Berg Bergman. She was another blind deaf woman. She, the meeting wasn't very exciting because she didn't really like me. She thought I was too much of a tomboy. In 1894, Annie and I went to New York. I got famous. I signed to the press and talked a little. I also had a hard time in school because not a lot of textbooks were in Braille. And at the same time, I didn't have the same advantages like sight and hearing. It got harder and I had no time for me. I got, or, or I would fall behind. I got done with college in 1904. Now I am all I was all grown up. I wrote and published my second book, The World I Live In. I gave my first speech in Montclair, New Jersey. Annie and I went on our grand tour. We also were in a film, Deliverance. But in 19 32, Annie's eyesight was failing and soon after died. My lifetime companion and my teacher, she died. After I got to meet the president and I got sick once again and sadly I passed away on June 1st in 1968. Hey y'all, I'm Dolly Parton. I was born on July 19th, 1946 in Silverville, Tennessee. Here is my song, 9 to 5. Well, I tumbled out of bed and stumbled through the kitchen, pulled myself a couple of ambition, yawning, and stretching, tried to come to life. Jump in the shower, blood starts pumping, out on the streets, the traffic started jumping, folks left me on the job, and 9 to 5. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living, barely getting by. It's all taking and no giving, they just use your mind and they never give you Ow. credit. It's enough to drive you crazy if you let it. Nine to five, wait, you, you've got passion and vision, a vision because it's hustling. <laughs> Hustling time. A whole new way to make a living trying to change your life to something that gives it meaning with a website that is worthy of your dreaming. Well, you got dreams. And you know they better be your own dreaming. <laughs> I'm Kevin Morant. I was born in Washington, D.C. on September 29, 1988. When I was a little boy, my dad left. He did not feel like he could take care of my two brothers and my sister. After all that, my mom had to work double shifts. I was raised by my aunt and my grandma. I lost my aunt from by cancer when I was only 11. In 2007, I was drafted by the Seattle Supersonics, but the year before, I, I was in college for Texas. In 2014, I won MVP. In 2017, I won the championship and won again in 2018. I won the championship on the Golden State Warriors. I left for the Golden State Warriors in 2016. The Warriors beat the Seattle Supersonic in 2014-2015 season before I left to go join them. Unfortunately, I was injured in 2019-2020 season. I did not play the whole season. In 2012, I starred in a movie called Thunderstruck. I'm, and when I'm not acting or playing basketball, I like to take photos. I took a photo at Super Bowl 50. 
I like riding bikes and playing video games.